Hi, my name is Christopher Hart, and I am a TAC engineer on the Data Center Routing and Switching TAC team. In this video, we will discuss the different types of NXOS software upgrades you can perform on a Cisco Nexus 9000 series switch running the standalone NXOS network operating system. Before we get started, I want to clarify that this video is not applicable to Nexus 9000 series switches running the ACI network operating system. Let's get started. There are three options you can use to upgrade the NXOS software of a Nexus 9000 series switch. First, you can perform a disruptive NXOS software upgrade. Second, you can perform a standard, non-disruptive NXOS software upgrade. This is sometimes called a standard in-service software upgrade, or ISSU for short. Third, you can perform an enhanced, non-disruptive NXOS software upgrade. This is sometimes called an enhanced ISSU. We will describe each of these options in more detail in this video. First, let's cover disruptive NXOS software upgrades. These are the simplest software upgrades to perform and are supported by all Nexus 9000 series switches running any NXOS software release. This upgrade option automatically upgrades the NXOS software running on the switch as well as the BIOS version used by the switch if necessary. You can execute a disruptive NXOS software upgrade using the install all NXOS command. On Nexus 9000 series switches, this command takes a single parameter, which is the file path of the target NXOS software release binary image file that you would like to upgrade to. As part of a disruptive NXOS software upgrade, the switch will perform a warm reload. As a result, the management plane will be disrupted, so any monitoring of the switch will stop, and your SSH session to the switch will be interrupted. The control plane of the switch will be disrupted, so any control plane protocols, such as OSPF, EIGRP, BGP, and so on, will stop functioning. Finally, the data plane of the switch, such as Layer 2 forwarding, Layer 3 forwarding, and so on, will be disrupted, and all interfaces will go down while the switch reloads. Nexus 9000 series switches tend to be lenient when it comes to upgrade paths for disruptive NXOS software upgrades. A specific upgrade path is usually not needed for a disruptive NXOS software upgrade, which means a direct upgrade between any two NXOS software releases through a disruptive NXOS software upgrade is usually possible. However, Cisco recommends referencing the Nexus 9000 series NXOS software release notes and Nexus 9000 series NXOS software upgrade and downgrade guides for any limitations or caveats that may apply to your switch, its configuration, or its role in the network. These documented limitations and caveats will indicate what upgrade path you should take when performing a disruptive NXOS software upgrade. If you do not find any documented limitations or caveats that apply to your switch, then a direct upgrade between any two NXOS software releases through a disruptive NXOS software upgrade is possible. Next, we'll review standard, non-disruptive NXOS software upgrades. This type of upgrade is sometimes called a standard in-service software upgrade, or ISSU for short. Not all Nexus 9000 series switches and NXOS software releases support standard non-disruptive NXOS software upgrades. Cisco recommends referencing the Cisco Nexus 9000 and 3000 ISSU support matrix at cisco.com slash go slash NXOS dash ISSU dash matrix to identify which Nexus switches and NXOS software releases support standard non-disruptive NXOS software upgrades. Just like a disruptive NXOS software upgrade, a standard non-disruptive NXOS software upgrade automatically upgrades the NXOS software running on the switch as well as the BIOS version used by the switch if necessary. You can execute a standard non-disruptive NXOS software upgrade using the install all NXOS command with the non-disruptive keyword appended to the end of the command. On Nexus 9000 series switches, this command takes a single parameter, which is the file path of the target NXOS software release binary image file that you would like to upgrade to. As part of a standard non-disruptive NXOS software upgrade, the switch will not reload. The management plane will be disrupted, which means monitoring of the switch may be disrupted, and your SSH session to the switch will be interrupted. However, the control plane of the switch will be frozen or locked into place, which allows the data plane of the switch to remain intact while the upgrade occurs. 
Non-disruptive InxOS software upgrades typically require a specific upgrade path. And in some scenarios, a non-disruptive InxOS software upgrade may not be possible. Cisco recommends referencing the Cisco InxOS ISSU support matrix tool at cisco.com slash go slash InxOS dash ISSU dash matrix to validate whether a specific upgrade scenario is supported and whether an upgrade path is needed. Finally, let's cover enhanced non-disruptive InxOS software upgrades. These are like a standard non-disruptive InxOS software upgrade, but require some special configuration before the upgrade. The switch must be running in LXC boot mode, which can be configured with the boot mode LXC global configuration command. This runs the InxOS operating system as an LXC container, which only takes effect after a reload of the switch. For this reason, Customers typically enable LXC boot mode as part of a switch's initial provisioning when it is installed in a network. Just like with the previous two types of InxOS software upgrades, this command will automatically upgrade the InxOS software and the BIOS of the switch, if a BIOS upgrade is necessary at all. Once the switch is running in LXC boot mode, executing an enhanced non-disruptive software upgrade is identical to a standard non-disruptive InxOS software upgrade. You simply add the non-disruptive keyword to the end of the install all InxOS command. On Nexus 9000 series switches, this command takes a single parameter, which is the file path of the target InxOS software release binary image file that you would like to upgrade to. An enhanced non-disruptive InxOS software upgrades impact on the switch is almost identical to a standard non-disruptive InxOS software upgrade. As part of this upgrade, the switch will not reload. The management plane will be disrupted, which means monitoring of the switch may be disrupted, and your SSH session to the switch will be interrupted. However, the control plane of the switch will be frozen or locked into place, which allows the data plane of the switch to remain intact while the upgrade occurs. Just like with standard non-disruptive InxOS software upgrades, enhanced non-disruptive InxOS software upgrades typically require a specific upgrade path. And in some cases, a non-disruptive upgrade may not be possible. Cisco recommends referencing the Cisco InxOS ISSU support matrix tool at cisco.com slash go slash InxOS dash ISSU dash matrix to validate whether a specific upgrade scenario is supported and whether an upgrade path is needed. Thank you for watching.